Lair of the Mounties, a story of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. Our scene opens at Fort McAllister in the Canadian Northwest. The fort is a survival of the old days, when the great Hudson Bay Company held sway over that vast region under the ancient title of the Gentlemen Adventurers of England, trading into Hudson Bay. The glory of the old days has departed, but the fort is still a company post. Here is the company store. Here, too, is the small Northwest Mounted Police Post, where we find Sergeant Blair. The big stove, piled full of green birch logs, is red hot. Outside, a blizzard rages. Entering the cabin as our story opens is Blair's trusted assistant, Angus Cameron. Oh, hello, Angus. Man, man, Sergeant, you're in the hard nest. Listen to that wind, will you? Yes, it's a bad night, all right. Did you phone Marshal at Fort Douglas about that fur case? Ah, I did that. He'll be out on it in the morning. Anything else doing? Marshal said a dog team went by at four o'clock. What? In this weather? Who was it? It's Belle Latour heading this Belle way. Belle Latour? Good Lord, fancy a woman on the trail a night like this. Aye, but what a woman you on is, Sergeant. Worth a million, they say. And yet she's no satisfied. Just built a dance hall in the new tune at Dawson. Calls it the Circle. Yes, hope she gets through all right. Yes, she will. She's got the best dogs in the Northwest. And Antoine's the finest driver from here to Hudson Bay. Should be showing up soon. Listen, will you? There's something new. No, can't hear a thing for that wind, Angus. It's a team, Sergeant. Listen. Oh, yes, I believe you're right. Open that door. Wheel! This Hello is there, the... Angus! Hello, Come Sergeant! In. Gee, what a night! Hello there, Angus. Give a hand to the dog. Aye, please. Sergeant. Sit down, Bell. Thanks, Sergeant. Gosh, what a trail. Bucking that blizzard clear from Holy Cross Lake. Where are you heading, Bell? Oh, just going down to Edmonton. Got a load of fox furs. Got to make the Saturday's train. But this wind's too tough even for me. I'll lay up here till it quit. I see. Well, I got your wire from Holy Cross. What's in your mind, Bell? Plenty. You ain't forgotten Finger Smith, have you? I know. What about him? He's out of jail. Yeah, so I heard. Up in Alaska, I believe. No, he ain't, Sergeant. What? No, he was up there on the landing last night and heading this way. Hmm, that's interesting. Too interesting to suit me, Sergeant. Finger's never forgiven you for picking him up at battles for that time. He's a doing a lot of talking and said he was going to get you. Oh, see here, Bell. Yeah, I know, but you better watch out, Sergeant. Fingers is bad medicine, and he's got a couple of tough birds with him. I see. Well, thanks for tipping me off. Coming back this way? Yeah, I guess so. Well, got to be getting over to the store. All right, Bell. Good luck. Thanks. Ah. Fingers Smith again, eh? <laughs> no rest for the wicked. And the wind will again. All the boys were singing. Oh, Angus. Aye, Sergeant. You hear about Finger Smith? Aye, Anton was telling me. What do you think of it, Sergeant? Well, we'll have to watch he doesn't spoil that good record we have in this district. Oh. Sounds as if the wind's dropped. Aye, it has that. And look at the north and left. Yon's a magnificent sex, Sergeant. Yes. What's out of the fort? Ah, it's the wee woman is starting out on the trail again. Yon's a long trail she's stacking. Yes, Belle's trail will never end till that brave little heart of hers stops beating. Well, better bank that fire, Angus. I'll be turning in. Aye, Sergeant, I'll do that. Good night, dear. Good night, Angus. Hello? What's that? Hey, wake up, Angus. Oh, man, man, I was having a fine oh, oh, sleep. Right, I'll go. Why, why? Good Lord, Bell, are you back again? Yes, it's me. Sergeant, quick. I've been robbed and all that good fur cleaned out. What? Sure, they held me up in Long Coulee. Held up? Why, look here, they don't hold people up in this country. Oh, no? I tell you it's the truth, Sergeant. Oh, for heaven's sake. Steady now, Bell. Take it easy. Sit down. Start the beginning. Come on, Angus. Hurry up. Hi, I'm coming. Oh, where in the world did I put my socks? Put <laughs> are on my feet. All right, Bell, let's have a story. Well, I was right in the middle of Long Coulee, and I was riding and pretty near asleep, and all of a sudden there was a shot from the bush. Antoine's lean dog went down, and three men jumped us. Recognize the men? No, not a chance. Too bad, Bell. But I tell you one thing. 
One of those men was Finger. Finger Smith, you sure? Sure, I'm dead certain. I'd know his voice in a million. What happened to Antoine? I shot him. And I got the dogs clear. For old Mishka is dead. Best lead dog I ever had. Gee, was I mad. Is Antoine dead? Sure, never made a move. Gosh, 30 years in this country, and that's the first time anybody ever stole a nickel's worth from me. And as for losing Antoine... Poor old Mishka. Oh, Jesus! All right, take it easy, Bell. Got to lift that fur? Yeah, sure. It's in my handbag. Oh, Hankus. Yes, Sergeant. We leave the Indian trackers. I wonder who's around the fort. They're all here, I'm thinking. Well, get Joe the man and Little Bear if you can. Get him out ahead of us. And get Marshall to start for Long Coulee at once. All right, Angus. Slip into it. We'll start in half an hour. Aye, Sergeant. Gosh. I hope you'll get them guys. Taint the money I mind so much. It's the idea of being held up at this cheap, four-flushing gang and losing old Mishka. Ah, oh, gee, he was a grand dog, Sarge. I feel like murdering somebody. Oh, no, you're getting sore, Bell. I think we'll pick him up. Well, how's we getting along? Well, so long, Sergeant, and good luck to you. Thanks. So long, Bell. Yon's the coolie just ahead, Sergeant. Yes, there's Joe the man and Marshal. All right, leave the dogs here, Marshal. Angus. Oh, policeman chief, you home. Hello, Joe. Morning, Marshal. Good morning, Sergeant. It's pretty bad business. Yes, where's the place? Just ahead, under the high bank, Sergeant. Find anything? Not much, Sergeant. There's a lot of blood on the snow and the place is swarming with tracks. I see. Well, Joe, what do you say? Oh, three men here. One man atop in bush here by trail. One man on a side trail. Another man on top big bank. Watch for slaves. Yes, I know. I don't want that. What happened after the holdup? Which way they go? You no find them yet. Well, you and little bear chase up under that bank. Look for sleigh tracks. It's a getaway I'm interested in. Ah, here you go. You think they had the sleigh up there? I'm afraid so. Well, that might be it. But I couldn't get these Indians away from the main trail. <laughs> That's an Indian all over. They have a sense of the dramatic... Always want to sit down and reenact the tragedy. <laughs> yes, that's right. Joe and Little Bear were having quite a powwow down here in the coulee. But what's your theory about this getaway, Sergeant? Well, they wouldn't keep the main trail. They settled country north and south and east of us. Oh, you think they went west? Afraid so. If they head for the foothills, it's going to be tough. But they have to cash in on that fur. Oh, they might figure on laying up in the hills till things quiet down. Then make a break south. Oh, think. I see. Well, here's Joe again. Oh, this man Blair. Yes, Joe. Oh, uh. Joe, him find them sleigh track up top of bank. Yes, which way they go, Joe? I think maybe head for Snake River. Ah, well, that's nice. Five hours start, they'll be over Snake River by nightfall. We haven't a chance in the world. They'll be in the hills tomorrow. No, policeman chief. Maybe you go fast, you catch them tonight. What? Oh, you're crazy, Joe. No, I say you catch them tonight. Heavy sleigh. Bad trail. You catch them. Hold on, Joe. Either they have to break trail. We never catch them this side Snake River. Pretty soon, big Chinook, he come. Chinook? Here, hold on, Joe. You sure? Joe, him never make mistake, policeman chief. Well, that's different. Gosh, that's right. If a Chinook comes, we've got him. See here, Sergeant. This is all Greek to me. What is this Chinook business? Oh, yes, I forgot. This is your first winter in the West, Marshal, eh? You see a Chinook as a warm wind that comes suddenly in winter out here. But what difference does that make? Well, it looks funny, I'll admit, but the Chinook raises the temperature rapidly. Melts snow like magic. If we get a real Chinook, there'll be ten feet of water over the ice in Snake River by midnight. Oh, I see. Then they'd be stuck this side of the Snake River. That's it. That is if Joe's guessed right. Me say, big Chinook, he come. You catch him. That's a chance, all right. Marshal, shake up your dogs. I'll get Angus and we'll shove on to Snake River. Light sleighs, we ought to gain on those fellas pretty fast. Hmm. So that's why it's turned so warm. Anything doing, Sergeant? Not yet. It looks all right. Joe and Little Bear have gone to see if they can find the camp. Well, the river's in flood all right, and it's just as hot as a summer night. Where's Angus? Here, Sergeant. Right. Uh, we're about a hundred yards from the river. Wonder where those Indians have got to. They've been quite a time. Wonder what's the matter. <laughs> Probably having another powwow. Good Lord, what's that? All right, look out. That's Joe's signal. Stand by. Look here, Sergeant. Yon's a man coming by the trio. Hold on. It's all right, it's Joe. Oh, this one, Chief. 
Well, Joe, what do you got? I find them camp. Three men close by river. Oh, you come. All band sleep. Yes, we come. Angus, Marshal. Yes, sir. Then. All right, I can ride with you. This is the plan. Uh, now listen, Joe. No, yeah, I listen. I'll be careful with this now. You two follow Joe. Get round behind the camp, then work in close enough to jump these fellows. I'll go straight for the camp. When you get set, I'll walk straight in on them and uh, make the arrest. Get the idea? Yes, all right, Sergeant. Right, keep your guns handy. Don't shoot unless you have to. Move in quick, and I challenge them. How about those dogs, Joe? Oh, dog, him plenty tired. Bad trail, heavy load. Him played out. No, make noise. All right, you fellas keep close to Joe. Watch your step. Better shove off now. Hey! Who's that? Come on, Marshal. Hey, what is here. this? Get a hey, hold hey, wake up, Bill! Hey, 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 what is this? Look out! Hold up! Hey, hey, what's the hold. idea? What do you mean? All right. Stand him up, Marshal. That's it. James Henry Smith. I arrest you in the king's name for the murder of Antoine Leclerc at Long Cooley. Huh? Anything you say will be used against you as evidence. Ah, uh, so it's you, is it? Of course, yeah. I won't have to run into you again. Too bad, Finger. What about that fur, Angus? Oh, here I'm thinking. Right, we'll bring up the dogs, camp here till daylight. Then we'll head back to the fort. Nice work, Joe. Ah, oh, Chris Munchief. So, him, big, big fella. Again, Joe the man, famous Indian tracker, has proved his worth. Tune in for our next episode in Blair of the Mounties entitled The Trap. <laughs>